Hey, GED students. It's GED question of the daytime. I found this little brain teaser on the internet here. I can't read who it's from. Ashley? I don't know. Couldn't find the original source, but super excited though that um, it is kind of a little visual a problem solver. So it just says how many triangles. So a lot of, I am often surprised over the years I found out that not every GED student knows what a triangle is. So by the way, if something's a triangle, it's basically just a three-sided uh, shape. That's it. A lot of my students seem to think that the three sides have to be of equal length. Well, yes, that is a triangle, specifically an equilateral triangle, but they don't have to be of equal lengths. They could be all different and it would still be a triangle. So just a three-sided shape, okay? So let's start finding triangles. I'm going to start in this first row up here. Obviously, I could do each of these individuals. That's one triangle. It's a three-sided shape. Two and three. Okay, so one, two, three. Uh, but that isn't the only way to look at this. You know, I could get bigger than that. Uh, look, like I could draw a triangle right here. One, two, three sided. So now I'm up to four. Uh, but I could also shift over and do that here. That puts me at five triangles. So I made all the kind of like bigger size. Or I could take that entire thing all together. and I'd get six. So again, one, two, three, or the bigger one, four, five, or the biggest one, six. So I got six triangles from that level. Now an interesting thing is gonna happen. I'm gonna see this six triangle thing repeat. Let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna erase this, and let's look at the slightly bigger shape. Same thing here. If I, oh, I need a pen, not an eraser. If I stretch it from here, I have one, two, three. So there's three again. Or I could get a little bigger, just like I could before. Let's maybe try it with a different color. Four. And there's a five. And then last of all, I could try that whole one again. So with this row, I could also get six. Well, that color's hard to see, isn't it? I get some students who get mad at me. All your colors are hard to see, Kate. Sorry about that. Trying to do better, y'all. Okay, so six triangles there. And guess what's going to keep happening? Every time we go down a row, we're going to see the same six triangles. Uh, again, next row. One, two, three, four, five, or the entire thing makes six. So I see another six triangles there. And guess what's going to happen in the last one? Six triangles. Now I looked and looked and looked, but I couldn't find any other way to make a triangle. Uh, doesn't mean I'm wrong, okay? I mean, uh, let me start again. Doesn't mean I'm right. A lot of people assume, oh, it's a math teacher. They have to know all the right answers. Those are all the triangles I could find, y'all. Um, so if you found some others, oh, so let's count those up. Six, twelve. 18, I found 24 triangles. Now careful, don't count things that aren't triangles. Like for example, this. One, two, three, four. Uh, that is not a triangle. That is a quadrilateral, a four-sided shape, not a triangle, a three-sided shape. So um, wouldn't be able to count that. But if you can find some other triangles, drop it in the comments. I want to hear about it. Um, but that was all I could see, 24 triangles. All right, if you have any questions about this or any other math concept, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.